Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video, Anna, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer. Anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Alright guys, if we're looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we're currently sitting at $2 trillion. We're down 6.9% from the in the last 24 hours. And BTC dominance is currently sitting at 50.2%. If we're looking at the overall markets right now, we are seeing a lot of red across the board and that is due to the fact that Bitcoin uh, did go down and you guys, as you guys may know, I always say this, Bitcoin is the leading indicator and when it goes down, majority of the altcoins will go down double digits and we saw that but we have recovered since uh, the drop uh, but it's still in you know um, red uh, as of now but if we're looking at the markets, uh, st still a lot of red across the board. But uh, this is extremely normal in my opinion because uh, nothing goes up straight forever and these corrections are very very normal and it's also whale manipulation uh, which we cannot control. Uh, so uh, you know uh, around this time I personally uh, buy like the dips uh, if I have extra cash laying around. But today I want to talk about none other than VeChain. Alright guys, if we're looking at VeChain's price right now, VeChain is doing something very very interesting and let's get into that right now. So if we're looking at VeChain's price right now, VeChain is currently trading at uh, it's uh, 22.7 cents. It's up 1.4% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. It's also up 10.4% in the last 24 hours in BTC comparative. Our current uh, rank on coin market cap and on coin gecko is top 13 and market cap is 14.7 uh, billion dollars. It's holding very strong around those level and 24 trading volume is 3.8 billion dollars. So if we're zooming out guys, everything is looking very very normal for VeChain right now. Uh, you know, in the last 30 days, we're still up 132%, I mean 193% in just the last two weeks we're up a staggering 155.7%. Absolutely insane. Uh, but before I jump um, you know, deeper into the charts, I'm going to show you guys this. So BTC liquidation. So um, as you guys may know, if you're new into the markets, you guys might not know, you know leverage trading, which I do not recommend any of you. I would never recommend any of you guys to leverage trade because it is extremely, extremely risky and and you know it's very very manipulated uh, by these whales so I would strongly encourage you to stay away uh, you know um, because I know it is not safe and especially if you're new do not fall for these Bybit links or um, you know uh, any of this stuff just stay away personally uh, that's my advice to you guys but if you guys see yesterday we saw 4.6 billion dollar long get liquidated so everyone that thought that bitcoin was gonna go up got liquidated and this was um, you know basically a whale manipulation and you know we cannot control this in the market so i feel bad for the people that lost money but this is what you know le leverage trading uh, gets to you obviously it has a high risk but massively high reward and majority of the time people do not win so that's why i strongly encourage all my viewers especially my viewers to just stay away from leverage trading but yeah we have we haven't seen this kind of you know long liquidation in a while guys 4.6 billion dollars got liquidated absolutely insane uh, but yeah that's I wanted to share that with you guys so yeah you know when liquid you know when more and more uh, orders get liquidated obviously the price of Bitcoin go goes down even further but it was just a wick it went all the way down to 51,000 and it bought, was bought back up very very quickly that goes to show there's still a lot of demand for Bitcoin and uh, you know if we're looking at a V chain right now V chain is doing something very 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 interesting and now you may be asking, Crypto ZX, why do you think that? As you guys may know, I just showed you right now, the entire market is in deep red across the board because of that correction that we saw yesterday. But VeChain is, you know, making a recovery like nothing has absolutely happened. So if we're looking at, uh, if we're uh, bringing out the measuring chart, if we look from just, uh, yeah, so April 17, just yesterday, we have, 
were only down not just ten percent. And meanwhile, we went all the way down to. Let's check right now. We went all the way down. 33% yesterday. So if you bought back up down here, if you had like a buy order around here, that was a good opportunity to, you know, uh, pick some V chain up. And, you know, like, but we got bought back up very, very quickly. Uh, obviously, because there's a lot of volume kicking in right now for V chain. And I'm not surprised. And this is a very, very bullish indicator for me, uh, you know, like this buyback of this dip. Now, you may be asking why? Because markets don't like obviously it recovers over time like a couple days but v chain got is recovering very very fast and this goes to show there is a lot of demand for v chain and i have been saying this for a while a lot of people are finally starting to realize what v chain is a really offering and you know the, the use case it has and the mass adoption that it's bringing to crypto space a lot of big players are starting to realize that and that's exactly what we're seeing in the price action. It does not come as a surprise to me uh, because as you guys may know, I believe VeChain could take over uh, you know, uh, the top 5 or even top 3 position in the next five to ten, uh, no, 3 to 5 years if they keep delivering what they're doing, which I know they will. And they have some massive, massive partnerships. Initially, this whole excitement... Uh, started due to the fact, uh, you know, the Salesforce partnership that was announced where they said they will be testing VeChain Thor blockchain. That got a lot of people excited, but people did not really realize uh, that, you know, uh, VeChain is partnered with some big, big uh, brands already, like big companies around the world, such as H&M, DHL, BMW, uh, Walmart, uh, China, AWS. These are, these are just to name a few guys. And w the people that got in VeChain earlier, they already knew this. And this goes to show you when you do your due diligence and research and you actually believe in a project and you actually hold strong uh, and like always invest where you can afford to lose, your patience will be rewarded. And the people that bought back earlier last year below a penny, they're being rewarded heavily and they deserve it. Uh, but yeah, like now you may be asking, where could you see VeChain go? So something I want to uh, point out right now for, uh, for you guys is that Something ex very like that excites me a lot is like, you know, we wicked all the way down to 16.9 cents. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a couple of days, you guys know I did say this is a crucial, crucial support for VeChain. And it touched that exact same number and it was bought back up very, very quickly. That goes to show the support around this level is very, very strong. And, uh, you know, VeChain is ready to, like, you know, um, go to the moon, in my opinion, because, you know, it's literally a way, I believe, just let's, if we chart this down, VeChain is literally a way 18% from its all-time high. If we were to get more volume to kick in, I believe we will see newer highs for VeChain very, very soon. And there's nothing that can stop, uh, you know, for it, uh, you know, to hit a newer highs. If I'm bringing out the... Fibonacci retracement for you guys. Let me just bring that out. Let's chart this up real quick, shall we? So, right here. Okay, so if we're looking at the Fibonacci retracement, as you guys can see, there's a lot of support, a lot of support around that 61.8 level, which is around 61.8 is around the 15 cents and there's also a lot of support around that 17 cents at the 0.5 and I have been saying this in the last couple of videos and exactly that's playing out. So this goes to show there's a lot of support. I do not see a drop, you know, to these levels like the 78.6 unless even though there's tons of support there. So we will be supported unless we do see Bitcoin do a flash crash because guys, we have to look at both the bullish, uh, you know, um, uh, bullish potential and also the bearish potential. So if the bearish potential were to play out, I believe we could wick down to even at the, you know, 61.8 level. Uh, or the 78.6 if a Bitcoin were to do a flash crash and that's absolutely normal We have seen that in a bull cycle. We see Bitcoin uh, can even drop to 30% uh, Like I have seen that before so that would be normal if that were to happen. Yes V chain can go even further down, but after you know this uh, You know after this wick and how we were bought back up so quickly That is a very very bullish sign in my opinion and I believe once Bitcoin does stabilize, uh, I believe VeChain will head towards its uh, newer all-time high. And my target for this month is $0.30 cents for VeChain. 
30 cents. And uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, everything is looking ext extremely, extremely bullish for VeChain, guys. Like, absolutely bullish. If we're looking at the Google trend still, still hitting its all time high, it's an upwards trend. Uh, you know, everyone is uh, a lot of people are searching VeChain, and because a lot of hype now is picking up on VeChain, and that does not surprise me. As you guys may know, a lot of big influencers are talking about VeChain now, and a lot of TikTok, uh, you know, before, as you guys may know, uh, earlier when the bull run started, a lot of, uh, you know, TikTok is a big platform where a lot of, uh, you know, people can uh, make videos and share, and they can reach a lot of big audience. Uh, so not, not only do we have uh, big uh, influencers promoting uh, VeChain, now we also have these TikTokers talking about VeChain, uh, uh, you know, so the, you know, demand uh, is high because of that as well like it does have some sort of you know uh, some sort of uh, uh, like power like the uh, TikTok part of this does have some sort of power to the you know price uh, price uh, thing but it's mostly due to the fact that we are seeing a lot of big influencers finally talking about it the ones that were not talking about it before so that brings a lot of exposure to the VeChain community and the project itself and as you guys may know, I strongly believe VeChain will get listed this year on Coinbase. I am very confident about that, but at the end of the day, that's just my own personal opinion. The reason I'm very confident about that is because VeChain truly deserves to be listed on a project because it's such a solid project with a real use case, working product, bringing mass adoption to crypto. And, you know, Coinbase will open so many more doors for the project itself. As you guys may know, the Coinbase effect, whenever a project does get listed on Coinbase, it tends to go absolutely insane. And that shows you how much power Coinbase really has because at the end of the day, Coinbase is a fiat gateway and majority of the uh, people uh, that come into the crypto for the first time ever, they buy through uh, Coinbase. And like I said, that opens so many doors for every project that is listed on Coinbase. And I believe Avichan really does deserve it because it outshines majority of the projects that are already listed on Coinbase. So I believe it will get listed this year, uh, but we will see how that plays out. But before I end this video, guys, I want to say, uh, you know, always invest where you can afford to lose and, uh, you know, never throw your life savings into crypto. I cannot stress this enough. And always, always do take profits, guys, because now this is a perfect example right in front of us right here we're here to make money and you know taking profits does really um you know help you at the end of the day because you know nothing is going to go up straight forever and this is literally a perfect example right in front of you and uh, i always say that always take profits and uh, you know nothing's going to go up straight forever the dips will always occur and this is a perfect example right in front of you guys uh, and also guys thank you thank you so much to all my supporters each and every one of you guys that have been showing me so much support i appreciate each and every one of you thank you so so much uh, keep supporting me the next stop is 10000 subscribers and this is just the absolute start for our channel and uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe out there. Safety comes first. Health comes first. Family comes first. And everything else absolutely comes later. It's been CryptoZX, and peace out.